Wizzy and Dooshies and Friends, and welcome back to Ultimate Custom Night. Now, we are on YouTube, and we are going to watch uh, all the uh, cutscenes that are in Ultimate Custom Night. So, yeah, guys, this video, uh, the live stream was a few days ago, which was amazing. It was cool. It was uh, one of my first ever live streams, so it wasn't the best, but it worked. So, that's amazing. I'll be doing more better ones in the future. But, yeah, let's uh, see this. This is going to be my reaction on all the endings and cutscenes of Ultimate Custom Night. This should be amazing. Shout out to Sid Alleriette. I hope I said that right. Um, for saying first on my previous video, the cutscenes get dark, all because of that video. Yep, that's going pretty good. So, uh, how are you doing, Sid? How's, how's, how's life? So, if you want to get a shout out, be first to say first in the comment section below. So, every cutscene's basically, if you haven't seen them, there's one about Toy Chica and one about the fox and the bear. And they're basically repeatable, but something changes each time. So, I'm gonna go watch the first two fully. Then, after that, we're just gonna skip to um, all the new bits. Let's see. So the first cutscene is the, the bear and the fox. Yes. 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 Okay, I was gonna pause right there. So, um, it, he, the bear here is saying, I have tried to lay siege to his temple time and time again, but to no avail. And you'll see something intriguing in a second. Oh, yes, revenge. Revenge. So, as you can see here, I cannot fail again as my last attempt executed a heavy toll and the consequences still, consequence still follows me. Still. Which is... The frog. See the frog? That's what's following him. So he's really irritated by the frog. Each time, this is the bit that's different. Each time the um, bear has some sort of consequence and the fox, um... Well, you about find out, but has something else. In fact, it follows me everywhere. Ha, uh, that's cool. Yes. 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 No one ever attacks on their birthday. Like, that's very kiddish if, I, if, if you have to ask me. But anyway, we'll keep watching. Yes. Now is the fox. He's gonna come back. It's a new devious plan. He will attack. How predictable. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, feeding his new friend with the frog. They're concerned about this part. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. いや、怒りの道場。それは私にはとても恐ろしく聞こえる。しかし、私は何を知っている？いや、そう。意見に浮かぶのが。It's come up with a new plan, and that's basically what happens every cutscene. So it's basically following on from this one and to the next one and to the next one with the bear and the bear, um, Freddy. Um, has to always have has to do a consequence like be humiliated or something which we saw in a past uh, cutscene on when I was actually trying the game to beat the game and then um, the fox is always coming out with new plans and Mango ew, that's just weird but uh, Mango is like saying how good his plan fox's plans are but yeah it's basically that this keeps following on and on and on so I want to see every consequence the bear gets and anyway um. We're about to see the uh, Toy Chica cutscene, I think. Yeah, we're about to see the Toy Chica cutscene. So, we'll watch this next cutscene and then we'll uh, move on to whatever. Hey, 
Tori Chica, the high school years. Dear yes. Diary, yesterday was so amazing, and yes. I met such a wonderful guy. But I don't think it was meant to last. From my so uh, I'm just gonna pause again now. Remember that line? I don't think it was meant to last. That is massive to this thing. Because there's a really disturbing and dark secret that's coming out with this. And so this follows on to every time. It doesn't, it says to be continued. And the next, the next cutscene after the next Toy Chica cutscene will follow on directly after this. And I'll show you why in a second. But this is massive. I have to say, massive. My heart belongs to another. To another, yes. He's so amazing and strong and so, so cute. Oh, gosh. I've been thinking about him all day. And I think he's really into me, too. He's the only one for me. I just know it. And I know just how to get him. How to get him. That is disturbing already. Look at that. Okay, so we're just gonna pause. Look at her bag. What do you see? Yes, I know. A uh, hook. Um, yeah. I'm very concerned. So I have a feeling uh, Foxy was her love that was not meant to last. Because his hook is right here. Now, as the times go on, you will see a massive horrif horrific pattern that will start to unveil. But, um. That, that amazing top hat. That. Hear that, hear that, that amazing top hat, that is, remember that line, because in the next Toy Chica cutscene, something massive will happen. It'll be mine by the end of the day, I just know it. I told oh, him gosh. that I needed help with my homework, but once he's there, I'll have him. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. Oh gosh. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Yes, there is. Okay, guys, and it says to be continued. And that's basically the two cutscenes, only three minutes of our life. Now I'm just going to go cut through them all and see what each are. Uh, Bear and Toy Chica or whatever that changes. Because they are basically very repetitive. I'm just going to go to the new bits of each one, okay? So, let's go. So the bear, for the next cutscene, um, has to cook the fox, foxy some... Um, Bacon and, um, what's it gonna call it? And eggs. Bacon and eggs. Which, uh, you know, so that's his, uh, humiliation. I'll just show, I'll just show you. Did not go as planned. As you can see, I must make the fox's breakfast. So as you can see, he, uh, he lost to the previous, uh, battle on the birthday. And has to make uh, the fox breakfast now. Which is, this is just, this is just quite kid-like. And that gives me an idea for a theory, which um, I've always seen on like a wiki or whatever. But anyway, let's keep watching. No, so, okay, guys, we're back with all day. the Toy Chica cutscene. I think he's really into me too. Yes. He's the only one for me. Guys, look at the bag. There's a hook and there's a hat. Now, now that we know that, the last cut Toy Chica cutscene, you saw Toy, um, Toy, no, Freddy. You saw Freddy sitting there with his top hat, and she was talking about how much she loved the top hat. This is disturbing, because as the time goes on, it gets more and more disturbing. But, basically, all we need to know is that she's basically luring boys and killing them. It's really disturbing. Over to her house and then killing them, and then taking their prized possessions. So, Foxy and Freddy's been victim to her uh, schemes. But it only gets darker. That and you see what the heck this one is. Fur. Look at this. That amazing silky sheen. Yes, yeah, see, she's, she likes her uh, his fur. The next Toy Chica cutscene, you'll see that in the bag. I, I bet you. He'll be mine by the end of the day. Oh, gosh. I just know it. Yes. I told him that someone ran over his dog in front of my house. That's dark. But once he's there, I'll entice him with warm cookies... Lure him inside. Lure. I mean, invite him inside. Lure, yeah. Lure him inside. Oh, fabulous. And then I'll have him. Oh, lovely. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. Oh, lovely. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Yes, I don't know what that is. I really want to find out what that is. Oh my gosh, it goes straight to the uh, next cut, um, bear cut scene. But, as you can see, Toy Chica is always just finding a new person that she falls in love with. 
an item of that person, which she keeps in her bag the next following cutscene. So, um, the bear has lost once again, and his, uh, failure, he has to wear a humiliation, uh, thingy magic. as you can see, a little hat. So, uh, that's basically what this bear and, uh, fox thing is. It's legit them fighting over, and the bear always loses and has to have some sort of humiliation or something on him. So, as you can see, he has to wear the hat. It's hilarious. Okay, guys. Now, this is getting even more disturbing. There's the hand of that uh, furry, silver, foxy person in the last uh, Toy Chica cutscene. There's his hand right there, which means she is murdering them. Wait, what is scuts? What the heck? Look at those ears. Yes. Those amazing ears. Oh, yes. He'll be mine by the end of the day. Oh, I yeah, look, look. I just know it. Look, the ears. I told him that my house was on fire. House on fire. But once he's there, I'll tell him that I threw myself on the flames to put them out. Fabulous. He'll be so impressed that he'll fall for me immediately. Yes. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. He is, yeah. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. I don't know what that is. It always cuts it there. It's so annoying. Now, that's actually as far as I ever got in the game. So now we're going to Unchanted Territory. But I, I bet you guys... Uh, Toy, uh, Boney's ears are going to be in her bag in a second. I bet you guys. That, that's a bet I'm making. And that's part one of this, uh, video. Sorry, um, this video got a lot longer than I expected. So, part two of this, uh, video will be coming out soon in about a few days. So, see you then. And I hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, Wizard of Witch. And I'll see you guys next time. L.O.N.O. out. Bye-bye.